This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thank you EA for allowing me to participate at this event. Hey guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. I am back building another house in the new world of Sulani, which came with The Sims 4 Island Living, which I got the chance to play in Los Angeles for EA Play last week. I had so much fun building in this world, playing in this world. It's absolutely stunning. And today we are building more of a modern-ish uh, beach house over the water. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. But before we get into that, I just want to point out the obvious. I'm really sick right now. So if you can hear it in my voice, I apologize. I feel like I'm croaking over here. <laughs> um, a lot of us that were at EA Play came home pretty sick. Mine was a little delayed. Like I felt okay when I got home, but yesterday, halfway through the day, it hit me hard and I am not feeling well at all, but I wanted to get this video out because I really wanted to show you guys another build in this world because I just love it so much. I was having so much fun building here, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So in this build, we're using a variety of the different windows, but mostly the big modern glass ones. And I also used those like paneled windows to kind of act as shutters in the front, which I thought was a really cool idea. And now we're about to go and change the roof color way too many times. I wanted to try out all of these new colorful corrugated metal roof patterns but we ended up going with a black in the end because I had to make a house that was totally me on the water so it's very black and beige like it's super neutral and I love it and I my last build was pretty colorful and I have some more colorful builds I've yeah some more colorful builds coming up so I thought it would be nice to just do a little bit of something a little bit neutral that I like and you know I think it looks cool, kind of, the stark contrast between this very dark colored house against the tropical paradise around it. So hopefully you guys like that as well. I did add a glass roof on the upper portion and then on that side bit sticking out as well that has all the glass windows. That ends up being a glass roof as well. And this ends up being a two bedroom, one bathroom house, I believe. I'm not entirely sure how much this comes to, but just like with the other build, as long as my save and tray files all work fine once the game comes out, I should be able to put this on the gallery. And if it's up there, it'll be under the origin ID Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey, but that won't be until the game comes out. But we're figuring out like a nice little deck area off to the side, as well as one out back. I just, it's so pretty. And we're gonna use the roof tiles, not the roof tiles, the floor tiles that are see-through on the back porch so you can see the ocean under them, which I know is totally what they were meant for. I just didn't use them for that in the first build, but I definitely did this time and I really love how it came out. I think it helps with like the modern look of this house and also it's just pretty to see the water <laughs> underneath. Also, um, I used some of the new floor tiles in this. I think it's the more modern, cleaner wood I used in this one, and I used a little bit more of a rustic one in the last build because I realized I forgot to show off the floor tiles at all in my build by overview. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, but there are three new floor tiles. There's two woods and a stone texture. I think I just used the woods. I might have used the stone texture in the bathroom. I don't really remember, but... I do really like how this home came out and you can see me just kind of placing random items around trying to figure out where I want to put stuff but we do end up putting a boat back here. This one with the black sail I think it looks so nice. Uh, yeah there it is. I don't know it just looks so nice in this world like this darker roof tile and then that boat sail against the landscape. I just really like it and then we're adding tons of plants because I am still super obsessed with these plants and I'm going to be using them too much probably and just figuring out the tiling on the roof or the, not the tiling, the um, roof trim and changing all the windows to black now realizing we're fully embracing this black and beige color scheme and I just really like it because it's so contrasty and that's something I really enjoy. So we're just changing all the swatches now and updating this fence. And yeah, once again, this build is only island living and base games. So once the pack comes out, if you purchase it, everyone should be able to download this build, which is really exciting. And now we're into the kitchen. I absolutely love these counters so much. And we actually get to use these like sectional cabinets as well in this build. I didn't have room for them in the last build I did, but I found the room in this one because this is a really big kitchen. 
and I used some of the new tiles that we got with the pack as well on the walls you'll be seeing. We don't actually have island counters right now, but I think I heard somewhere that that was a mistake or that it'll be in the released version of the game because the version that myself and other people at EA played played was a like pre-released version. It's not like the official one, so I guess we'll have to see. But at the time of recording this, I did not have island counters, so I just used some regular counters in the middle to put some clutter on, and I put some plants and stuff up on these sectional counters as well to kind of make it filled in a little bit more, and I really like it. I think they are so cute. They're so modern, and I, they feel very Ikea to me. Oh, I want an Ikea stuff pack so bad. I want that so badly. That would be so cool. But anyway, we are adding a trash can in here. Uh, I almost forgot that. Um, I, I feel like I forget trash cans all the time in my build, so I'm always proud of myself when I think of it. And then I was trying to figure out a rug to put in front of the sink. I believe we used that like half circle one that we got with base game. And then the sliding glass doors, I of course had to use these because they are absolutely stunning. I feel like I'm going to be using them so often in builds. I feel like those doors in particular are going to make me want to do modern builds all the time. And I think I'm okay with that. Also, this rug, I love the black swatch on this rug. I think it's stunning. And so are these tables and chairs that kind of have like a bit of a see-through mesh on them. I love it. And we just have one of the new end tables with a little TV and some collectibles. or not collectibles, like little vases and stuff up here that are from the pack. I think they're really pretty as well as some more plants because I have to put plants everywhere. And then I struggled with placing these in this window area. I had to actually move the windows out of the way to figure out how I wanted to place it. And I ended up making them small on the ends and like larger in the middle. I left the whole struggle in so you could see me trying to figure it out but this was the best way I could get them to like look okay and then I just put larger ones on the sides so there's a little bit of a variation in lengths of those blinds over there but I think they look pretty cute in the end and then we're about to put down this table to be our dining area I love this round table I'm so happy we've been getting more round tables in the game and this one is definitely more modern than the ones we have from previous packs because I think we only got them a jungle adventure laundry day and then there's one like base game one which is a little bit more modern but has some fun patterns on it as well I believe that came with the lunar new year update so I'm so happy to get another round six seater table oh they're so pretty but we just put a little office area over here I just have a laptop for some reason I didn't imagine this house would have like a desktop computer I also made sure to put an easel out on one of the balconies so that you can go out and paint the beautiful landscapes around you and then there's a downstairs bedroom and then there's like a loft-ish bedroom upstairs. So only two bedrooms in this house, but I feel like you could probably easily expand this. This is on a fairly large lot and it's so nice to be able to build over the water. Um, but yeah, I believe we just put, I don't remember what we put under the stairs, but we put something in there. Oh, I think it's this. This is one of the trees we got in it and I like scaled it into like this size and put it in a little planter inside to be another house plant. And then I'm moving around in the living room so we could fit in this new coffee table. This circular wicker coffee table is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So of course I had to use that. Um, and then by the front door, I believe we just have some shelves and mirrors and stuff. And maybe a coat rack, I think. So that you have a place to hang up. Or maybe it's just shoes. Did I forget a coat rack? I'm not sure. But like just like a nice welcome into the area space. I just wanted it to look um, like an entryway, essentially. And then I'm using these new hanging lights we got with the pack. I think they're really pretty. And I, I'm just overall very impressed with all of the items that are in this pack. And I think they go together so well. And as you can see, I'm kind of mixing the various styles in it together. Because this is definitely more of a modern house, but I have more of the traditional items in here as well. And they just mix so well. And this little tiki statue is pretty cute. And of course the shelving unit, which I am obsessed with. I can't wait to actually use it once I get my hands on the game and have all my packs installed because I'm going to go clutter crazy on this shelf. This shelf is probably going to be in like every build I ever do from now on. And I'm totally on board with that. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about clutter. I love clutter. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have asked me if I could do a tutorial on the red shelf that I use. I feel like I covered that in one of my videos previously. Um, I did a tips and tricks video and I showed the red shelf in that, but if you guys would like a more in-depth tutorial at some point, let me know. 
Uh, I think that shelf would be <laughs> a good one to show you how to use the red shelf to place items on so let me know what you guys think about that but i just talked through the bathroom we have some new items in there i think they're really pretty and i did use those new floor tiles the stones in there which i think came out really well i think it worked in there i don't know how well those are going to work in a lot of different builds but i think for the style we were going for in this build it worked all right and i think they're kind of pretty so this is the single bedroom downstairs i imagine this was a child's bedroom or a teenager it's super simple in here i'm using the new one of the new single beds that we got with this pack there are two of them i think i like the other one better it's much more stylized but i thought for the modern house this one made more sense and it's also very very pretty i love all of the beds that came with this pack I just thought that this like more wooden simple frame made more sense than the wicker one. But I do use that bed in another build that'll be coming out later this week. And it's just so pretty. And so is this bed, which I already used in the other build. But I had to use it again because it's just gorgeous. I love the curtains or the drape drapery falling down from the bed it's just really really pretty uh, but I do get to use the other bed as well in that same upcoming build uh, so stay tuned for that and then I used this little stool in the corner it's actually supposed to look like a bongo drum and that's why I put it there I just thought it looked cool as a decorative piece but it's also a seating space which is really nice and uh, yeah I think we're going to be working on the outside here in a minute but we are going to be adding a mirror and I think a little bit of clutter in this room probably not much I love these chairs Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. The one with like the, the, the ropes tied together. Oh, it's so pretty. I want one in real life. Uh, can I have that please? <laughs> I mean, I've seen them in real life, but I, I just never got one. I don't have a place to put one, but they are so pretty. I actually added a couple of them out to this back balcony as well that is off of the master bedroom, as well as a couple of planters if you want to plant some new stuff here. I'm trying to think, what new trees did we get with this pack? Like, actual stuff you can grow I think we got pineapples and coconuts yeah I think that's what we got and we're just adding a seating area over in this little uh covered balcony as well but I think we're about to be coming to the end of the video oh my goodness uh, sorry uh, that you had to hear me like this sick um but you made it through thank you for watching i really appreciate it if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already i'd love to have you join us and if you click that bell it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time i upload a video and there's gonna be some more island living videos throughout this week and then once the game comes out as well so i hope you guys did enjoy this and i will see you all very very soon bye everybody